Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is. Wait a minute. Okay, this is better. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever it is you're located. It is September 1st, 2020. Is Medellin, Colombia open? Is Colombia open for international flights? Is it today? Will it be a week or two weeks or has it been moved to October? I have more information for you in this video, so follow along. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to call United uh, to see if they can give me some information on how soon I can book and what the protocols are as far as booking my flight to Medellin, Colombia, if it's possible on the 1st, or does it uh, delay? Has it been delayed? Does it wait? Do they push it back to next month? I'm going to get more details on that, and then I'm going to pull up my screen and show you the meat of the information as far as traveling to Colombia and traveling to Medellin, Colombia. Make sure you stay and watch that. Follow along. Welcome back, Robert. How can I help you? Thank you for calling United. This is Ed. How are you doing today, Mr. Christian? I am great. How are you? I'm fine as well, sir. How may I help you? Hi, I'm looking to see if I can book a flight from Houston, Texas to Medellin, Colombia, uh, leaving this Friday on the 4th. I believe they were supposed to open on the 1st of September. So I want to see if I can get That's a flight from the... Check. Okay. Okay, thank you, Mr. Um, Christian. One moment, sir. Mm -hmm. Is this a one-way trip, Mr. Christian? No, round trip, coming back on the 11th. 11th of September, and this is for just one passenger? Yes. Okay, thank you, sir. One moment. Mm hmm Okay. Unfortunately, Mr. Christian, right now we don't have flight availability as of this moment for the outbound, which is on September 4. But are you flexible, sir, if we look for um, the next available or earliest available flight we have? Yes. Just well, tell me outbound? tell me what's the earliest flight you have available. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sure, sure. One moment. Mm -hmm. Are you having to check each day? Yes, sir. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't give you like a beginning date that they reopen? Mm, no, sir. Because um, right now what we have sir, here currently is the flight um, will be um, available by September. Or, uh, airports going to Colombia are open by uh, 1st of September, but um, we don't have enough information or definite information for the flight availability or... Uh, let me check this flight. Mm, okay, the earliest flight available, sir, is on September 16. The other um, earlier uh, departure days, sir, all flights are already fully booked. So this uh, this is the only uh, day that has available seat. Okay, well, when when was the first flights available to fly? Which one, I mean, the, even the ones that are booked already, what date was that? Let me go back, sir. Okay, just wondering if I could have got my ticket earlier. Um, that is September 9, but again, sir, um, all flights that we have are already fully booked, sir. Okay, so the first one that's even available is the 9th of September. Yes, and okay. it's um, it's a mixed flight with United and also with Avianca. Okay, it's a, is it one transfer? Yes, sir, in Bogota, Colombia. Okay. Are there any requirements as far as do, I mean, I'm sure you're going to check temperatures at the airport, but do I need to take a COVID test before I fly? Let me double check sir, first. Mm -hmm. uh, just to confirm, Mr. Christian, you're a U.S. citizen, correct, sir? I'm sorry? U.S. citizen? Yes. Okay. One moment, sir. Okay. It says here, sir, Mr. Christian, uh, Yes, you will be subjected for uh, the quarantine for 14 days upon arrival in Colombia. Oh. And um, it says here a control preventivo contra el coronavirus must be completed prior to arrival. So I think that's the self-declaration uh, form that you need to complete and fill up um, before departure, sir, at the airport in United States or in Houston. Okay, so I need to take a COVID test before I get to the airport and then I fill out this form? 
Um, no need for the COVID test. This is a health declaration form that you need to fill out um, upon arrival in Houston, sir. A declaration form? Is that just declaring that I'm healthy? <laughs> I mean, it's the honor system? Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Um, Okay, and also, uh, I understand you guys, uh, as of a couple of days ago, don't have any more uh, change fees. Would that apply yes. to international flights also? That's correct, sir. But, uh, of course, possible difference in fare may apply for any changes, Mr. Christian. Okay. And what if, I, what if they change this date? Well, yeah, what if they change this date? Because even though they're starting on the 9th, if I book for the 16th, they could still push it back to October 1st. What happens then? Of course, change fee will be waived, but just in case if the flight was canceled and uh, we can all on the next 14 days prior to your original scheduled departure, then of course, sir, we can um, waive some fees and possibly um, if it's an irregular operation, flights are already canceled. All we have to do is rebook you on the same exact flight with the same exact uh, cabin class without diff without collecting any fees. Well, what if, I mean, if they can't, I, I can't leave any time. So if they push it back to another date, do I get a refund? Yes, you can always ask for a refund, sir. Again, just in case the flight is already canceled. And uh, for example, you book your flight for September 16th, but we canceled the September 16th flight and uh that's not it does not um of course um suit your uh, schedule then of course we can process a full refund sir if reprotection uh, will not work on your schedule sir okay a refund new, but, uh, a refund not a credit correct yes sir okay by the way how much is that flight on the 16th and what would be a oh, well a week i want to stay for a week so i guess whatever date the 16th is one week from then um, I think, sir, I'm not sure if we can um, stay for a week, sir, because once you arrive in Colombia, we'll be subjected for 14 days quarantine. Oh, that's right. So where's the quarantine? I have to stay at a hotel at my expense? No, sir. Or? Um, on, your, on your place you're staying, sir. You must self-quarantine. So I can't even go for a week. If I go for a week, I have to stay inside. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, so, uh, okay. Okay, well, anyway, okay, so let's say I'm staying for three weeks then. Can you can you count ahead for three weeks and then uh, tell me how much the flight will cost? Okay, one moment. Mm -hmm. Let's say for a month, if I'm able to stay for exactly a month, from the 16th through the 16th. Make it easy. Okay, for the outbound for September 16, since all the flights that we have are all departing at 7.40 at night from Houston, arriving Bogota the next day at 12.35 a.m., September 17, and then with Avianca Airlines, leaving Bogota 6 a.m., arriving 7.03 in Medellin. And then for the return, sir, also all the flights that we have, sir, are leaving 7.11 a.m. from Medellin. Connecting into Panama, arriving 8.38 a.m., and the flight is operated by Copa Airlines doing business as United Express. And then from Panama, leaving 9.55 a.m., arrives at uh, 2.16 in the afternoon in Medellin, or sorry, in, back in Houston. So for this round trip ticket, sir, um, leaving September 16 and returning October 16. That will be $1,290.60. Whoa. Wow. Yes, sir. Wow. Okay. That's pricey. Okay. All righty. Well, I, and does that include luggage also, by the way? Carry on? Yes, sir. That's correct. Is that first class? <laughs> For no, sir. It's a standard economy ticket. That's the cheapest flight. Well, I mean, cheapest seat. Okay. Must be a demand. Okay. All righty. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. You can always check our flights and fares um, on our website, Mr. Christian, for your own uh, reference. Just go to united.com, sir. Okay. Yeah. By the way, what part of the Philippines are you in? In Manila, sir. You're in Manila? Okay. Just wondering. I recognize the accent. Okay. Thank <laughs> you, okay, Mr. Christian. Have you stay safe. All right. Thank you. You too. 
Yeah, bye -bye. welcome. Bye-bye. Okay, so there you have it. They are actually, or they have sold tickets from the 9th through, for international flights through the end of the month. Um, but the only seats that are still available would, for me if I were to go, which I'm not, uh, would be the 16th. And did you hear what that price was? $1,290. The flights aren't that bad. And you also have to worry about Avianca and, uh, shoot, what are the other airlines down there? They, uh, shoot, a couple of them have declared bankruptcy and are on like 5% of their planes are actually in the air. So, uh, which I think one was Copa and Avianca. So watch the details for those two. So if you book those flights or those are your connecting flights, or like she said, um, those are uh, United, uh, what are they called? Star Alliance flights. Then, you know, if they're not there or they're not available, you may lose your connection. So I, I would check with those airlines directly and actually see if you can't price from another location other than Houston. For me, it was easier for me to book a $59 flight from Houston to uh, either MIA or FLL, Miami or uh, uh, Fort Lauderdale. It was easier for me to get a $59 flight there and then book either from Avianca or Copa from Florida to there. It's, it's a whole lot more work, you know, to get uh, two different airlines, but still it's possible. So uh, let's just jump right in this next one because after that you've heard the good now. I just want to caution everybody who really wants to go because I really want to go. Heck, I want to go anywhere. But you know how much I love Medellin if you've seen my videos. I love it. I love the weather. Man, I miss the weather. When I step out on my patio, I, I think of that place, let me tell you. But I also mentioned earlier that I think they are creating a narrative to fit their timeline. And by that, I mean, Colombia, and this is an important one, Colombia updates COVID-19 restrictions for domestic flights. Pilot international flights in September will require COVID-19 tests. So you did hear that also. You're going to be quarantined for two weeks. So don't get a flight for a week. Don't get a flight for two weeks. I mean, how long do you have to stay to make your trip beneficial? I, I would say at least a month. So if you don't have a month, I mean, think again, because who wants to be trapped in their hotel? And, and if you're in an Airbnb or a hotel, who's to say they're not going to monitor you whether or not you leave or not? Because I'm gonna guess that when you check into a hotel, you're on a list and your food has to be delivered to you and so on. And then you also have to wonder, and this is something that wasn't mentioned. This was mentioned when I checked for flights for Vietnam. If one person, when they do reopen to Vietnam, if one person on that flight is determined to have the virus, everybody is jacked up. They know where you are and they'll know how to track you, so you're gonna have a real problem then. Because then you're probably gonna be quarantined more than the two weeks and have to run through a barrage of tests. But Columbia's health ministry announced August 30th that passengers traveling to San Andreas Island or any other Colombian Department of State with special vulnerability to COVID-19 outbreaks must get a coronavirus test within 48 hours of boarding your flight. Uh, what's more, a pilot international flights starting in September will require passengers to pass a COVID-19 test prior to boarding any such flight, uh, the Interior Ministry announced. Such restrictions potentially would expand beyond certain areas to include many more domestic flights, not just international flights. So, she said you didn't have to take the test. It just makes sense that you, but she's not responsible for that obviously, but it just makes sense that they're going to tell you other than just a declaration at the airport, hey, I'm healthy, that within 48 hours, you're gonna to have to have a test, a negative test result to even board that flight. That's just common sense telling me though. Um, let's see, the cost of the test will be a zone line for 60 days, the result positive, blah, 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 travel San Andreas. Anyway, um, let me jump to this one. Not to be a worry ward or to give you any bad news, but Colombia's coronavirus testing dropped 25% since early August. And this is what I say, I believe they're trying to create a narrative that will fit their timeline and their need to reopen because everybody's strapped for money. I get the need that everybody wants to reopen. I mean, I get that, but okay, 
check this out. This is a really short article. Please listen to me be, be, before you cut out. Columbia's coronavirus testing dropped 25% since early August. If you remember my last video from last Friday, I've showed you on the results that the numbers have only been dropping for the past five or six days prior to last Saturday. So let's say for the past eight, nine days, the results have been dropping. Well, they stopped testing, or the testing has gone down 25%. Now, check out the numbers. Columbia's health minister reported 25% less coronavirus tests in the last week of August compared to the beginning of the month. According to the health ministry, it carried out on an average of 38,373 tests per day in the first week of August compared to 28,970 in the past. Do you think that's coincidental? The number of reported infections dropped only 7%. That's the big thing, okay? The number of infections only dropped 7%, but they've stopped testing 25%. Shouldn't it match? Shouldn't the numbers have dropped 25%? And then this does not include those who are asymptomatic. So, you know, I'm not trying to throw water on anybody's party that wants to get back to Medellin or wants to get to Colombia. I know you want to see your loved ones. You know who you are. I know you want to see your loved ones. I know you want to see your girl. Ajima, shout out to you. I know you want to get down, bro, you know, but I understand you want to take your time too. See, we, we think, I don't know if it's the, the older you get, the more you're like, wait a minute, wait a minute. They're creating a narrative just to get us down there and just to get things restarted. You know, what's going to happen when you get down there and they lock it up? I mean, you're locked up, so you're not going to be flying back. The humanitarian flights, those things don't pick up that quick, especially if you're in an area where the numbers are going up. They're going to put in one of these new resolutions and you're going to be stuck. So this is a really short, I don't think there's much more to it, to this story, really short story, but let me go ahead and read the, the rest of it. But again, I want you to notice this number. They stopped testing at the beginning of August. Was that intentional? Well, not stop testing, but they slowed it up by 25%. Was that intentional to lower the numbers? Because the infection rate only went down 7%, even though they stopped testing 25% by the end of the month. So you be the judge of that. And this just tells you, okay, it was at the beginning of the month, here, here we are, then they start to slow up, <coughs> excuse me, slow up the testing. And so for the past week or so, the numbers drop. And this is recent, folks. And they're open up for cooking, grocery shopping, and they say that's a focal point, the grocery stores too, but restaurants, any place indoors that you're trapped. The good thing about Medellin is, most restaurants, most malls, malls don't have doors. I mean, they're all, I know it makes no sense for those who live in the U.S., but most of the malls I've been in don't have doors. It's just open. Even though you're inside a mall and it's air conditioned if need be inside, there's no doors. I mean, like the wind just cuts right through. The weather is so amazing that there's no doors. So most of the restaurants are open or have an open area and part of it, so there will be air that circulates. So that is a difference that they have as a benefit over us in the United States. Let me read this last little paragraph. The drop followed a reported peak in return test results of more than 41,000 on August 14th. The director of National Health Institute, Martha Ospina, uh, told newspaper El Tiempo that we continue growth, we continue growing our capacity, but few tests are coming in. I mean, according to uh, vi uh, virologist, Carlos Alvarez and the Pan American Health Organization, the lower number of test results could be because less people feel symptoms and request tests. This was to be expected, uh, Alvarez told the newspaper. According to public health expert Luis Jorge Hernandez, the reduced number of tests is worrying. He's got a quote. This is by Luis Jorge, Jorge Hernandez. The key at this point is to do more and more testing to ensure contact tracing and isolation. Lowering test is fatal. That's a quote out of my whole video right here. That's the quote because I want to keep you guys safe. I know you want to get there. I want to get there. But he says the key at this point to, is to do more and more testing to ensure contact tracing and isolation. Lowering test is fatal. They have lowered the test by 25%. And the rates of infection has only dropped 7%.
So in total, Columbia's health ministry has registered more than 600,000 infections and 19,364 confirmed deaths. The private health intermediaries uh, responsible for much of the testing have been under fire since the beginning of the pandemic and have been accused of refusing to carry out tests with people who are not privately insured. That's not good. Anyway, I hope this information is beneficial to you. If it is, again, subscribe, click the like button, comment. I'm going to have more and more videos coming out like this, as well as where Americans can go in general. So if you can't get to Colombia, maybe you can get a quick flight to uh, Mexico, to Cancun, which you can, by the way. Land borders closed, but you can still fly in. Canada, land borders are closed, but they still don't want us. <laughs> and I think they took Barbados off of the list of places to go to. Anyway, again, please like, comment, share, any benefit, subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Be safe. We have a YouTube channel. Like it. Please comment and share if you like the video. Please subscribe. Kick the bell.